Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. And today we're looking at another set of smart shades. We're looking at the Kinsmo smart shade. I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. Uh, I kind of scoured the internet trying to make sure that I pronounced the name right. I'm pretty sure it's Kinsmo. So that's what we're going to go with. Anyway, uh, the great folks over at Kinsmo sent me over a couple of their smart shades to show you guys. So I have a room on the back end of my house. Uh, that actually has two small windows in it, and they were kind enough to send me over uh, a couple of zebra shades to show you guys. Uh, these are both matter enabled zebra roller shades. These look awesome. So, we're going to dive right in, see what all we can do with them, see if we can't get them added into Apple HomeKit and, of course, Home Assistant as well, which will give us all the functionality that we're looking for and all kinds of cool scenes and automations that we can do within Home Assistant. Now normally I like to show you guys what these are going to cost, but because these are tailored to your window, you're just going to have to go over there. I'll have a link in the description below. Check out their website, put in the measurements of your window, and they have tons of different options available to you. So you're going to want to enter all that in as well, and it will certainly price that out for you. But if you're looking for smart shades, Kingsmo is definitely one that you're going to want to take a look at. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Let's start by unboxing these shades. Now this actually has two shades in it, so it came in two boxes all taped together. Where I'm gonna be installing these, this room has two windows, and so I ordered two shades matching uh, for this room, so everything will look nice. I've opened up the box somewhat already so that we can kind of get started opening the shades and I don't have to necessarily show you both of them. First up, we have the mounting brackets and screws. These are the same brackets that we have seen on a lot of the other Smart Shade brands like Smart Wings or Smart Way or even Kinesio, which is cool because they're super easy to use. Next up, we have the solar panel. So this one is a little different uh, than I've seen on other shades. It works basically the same way. It will basically stick to the window and then use the USB-C connector to plug into the shade motor. We have an extra long USB-C cable here, which is great gives you plenty of length so that you can uh, reach an outlet if you needed to, if you wanted to manually charge the shades. Next up, we have the remote. Now this is a pretty fancy looking remote. It has a magnetic mount. It handles up to 15 shades separately or as a group. So that's pretty cool. Since I do have the two shades in the room, I'm just gonna have the one remote to control both of them. So we have these light blockers as well. They mount on each side of the shade. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them just yet, but I have them just in case. But they're pretty easy to install. It has a double-sided tape that you will stick the magnets on each side of the window and then the metal light blocker will attach to the magnet. So we got some more instructions here as well. Basically, there's little instruction packets uh, for each thing we're installing, so it's kind of nice. They give you plenty of information. Lastly, we got the shade itself. It's a nice bluish gray color. Uh, it should look really nice in the spot that they're going to be installed. All right, so I kind of messed up. So there's one more thing that came in the other shade box. I didn't get it on the video, but this is what it was. It's an inbox hub. So I had to go back and look at my order and realize I actually did mess up. So I thought I was ordering the shades with the matter enabled motor, but what I actually ordered was a standard motor shade with a matter bridge. Kingsmo actually sells both, so I guess I just clicked on the wrong one. It will still work for what we need, but it is another hub that I have to kind of keep track of. So basically these shades are going to connect to this hub and then the hub will integrate into my matter setup. But that's everything that comes in the box. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step and we'll get these shades installed. So here's the room where I'm gonna be replacing the blinds. And you can see these blinds are already on their last leg. They're in pretty bad shape. Now this is the back room of our house, which leads out to the backyard. Uh, so we have two windows in here. Uh, this one and then the one on the corner over there which my wife kind of uses uh, as a craft area so i'm going to show the install of one window 
but uh, the same will be for both. I mean, it's a pretty simple install. It should go pretty smooth. First thing we need to do is remove the old blinds. Uh, and you can see here, got the blinds out and brackets are all removed. Uh, next up, all we need to do is install the new brackets. There are two brackets for this new shade, so we're just gonna kind of space them evenly here to make sure that um, it supports the uh, new shade well. Once we have the brackets installed, we can mount the shade. It just kind of pushes and locks into place. It's super easy. One more thing is the solar panel. Now, unfortunately, as I look at these windows, I'm not sure that the solar panel will get enough direct sunlight to charge the shade motor, but we installed them anyway to kind of show you what it looks like. Uh, it just sticks to the window and then the uh, USB-C will plug into the shade motor. And as you can see here, I have both shades installed. I have the remote mounted somewhat in the middle here above this light switch. Um, it gives me the ability to control both of them together or individually, so they'll go up and down. Works great, no issues at all. We now have the shades installed. Let's move on to the next step and we'll get them set up with the Inbox Hub in the ShadeMate app. So remember, I bought the shades with the standard motor and the matter bridge. And because of this, there's an extra step that we have to do. Uh, so we have to basically associate our shades with this inbox bridge or hub. Uh, and we're gonna do that by using the app called ShadeMate. From within the app, we're gonna hit the plus in the top corner and we're gonna add a new hub. Now, once we do that, it asks us to hold the setting button on the back of the hub down for five seconds, which is gonna put it in pairing mode. Now, after we do that, we are ready to scan the QR code on the bottom of the hub. Then we're just gonna give it a little bit of time to connect to the bridge. Then we can give it a name if we want. I'm just going to call it inbox. Now this is where it gets a little bit confusing. So we gave the bridge a name, which is what will be visible in the matter network. But now we are going to give the device a name for the app as well. So I'm gonna say inbox bridge here. We'll choose a room. So I'm gonna create one called back room since that's where it'll be. Now I just wanting to update the firmware on the hub. I'll kind of fast forward through that so we don't have to sit there and watch that. But we now have the firmware updated and let's go ahead and get the shades added to the hub as well. So we're going to hit that plus in the top corner again and we're going to choose add new radio device. We'll select what type of shade we have and I'm not sure what the best option is here. So this is a roller shade, um, but it's also a zebra roller shade. And our only options seem to be roller blind or maybe zebra blind. I'm not sure which one is the best. We're gonna go with zebra blind here. We're gonna select the newly added hub. Now it gives us two options for pairing. I'm gonna say pair with the remote control uh, since we already have the remote set up. And then it walks us through getting it set up in pairing mode. Uh, so we're going to push that P2 button on the back of the remote down a couple of times. And you'll see the shades jog during this time. And then we're just going to give it a chance to connect to the shade. And boom. Now it asks us to set up a tilt range. Uh, so this is a shade, not a blind, so that's uh, obsolete here. We'll go ahead and skip through that. We're going to go ahead and give the shade a name here. I'm going to call it Craft Room Window. We'll choose the uh, back room that we set up earlier, and we are done. We now have the first window added. The second window will pretty much add the same way. It was super easy to do. I'm not gonna go all the way through that. 
Let's go ahead and move on to the next step and we'll go over the config options for these shades in the app. Let's see what all we can do with the shades in the app. So you can see on the main screen I have the hub as well as both shades, they're all listed there. And if I click on the hub, you can see all the info about it. You can change the name or the room if we wanted to. And then down at the bottom, you see what all devices are associated with the hub. Now back on the main screen, there's also a place to create scenes and automations uh, with whatever devices you have added to the app as well. So that's kind of cool. But if we click on one of the shades here, you can see down at the bottom, I have the ability to open, close and pause. But you also have that slider along the side, which allows you to open it to whatever percentage you want, which is what I really like. At the top, you see the battery percentage, as well as we can hit that settings button in the top corner. And in here, we can change the name as well as the room, just like we did with the hub. But we also have the ability to set the limits for the shade if we wanted to. Now, it does warn you that it will override whatever current settings you have. I already have mine set, so I don't need to change anything here. But you can also create a favorite position as well. So if you have a certain spot that you like the shades to open to, then you can save that here as a favorite position. And down at the bottom is a vein position. I'm not exactly sure what that is, so I'm not going to mess with that. But you can see that's all the settings that you really have the ability to, to change in the app itself. Let's move on to the next step and we'll get the shade integrated into Matter and even get them added into Home Assistant as well. If you've seen any of my videos before, you know that I use Apple HomeKit as my Matter Hub for all of my Matter devices. Now I have a late model Apple TV 4K, which allows me to do that because it has the built-in Matter Hub. So I can click on the plus up in the corner of the uh, Apple Home app here and hit add accessory. And from there, I can either scan the code or just scroll down and see if my new Matter device is in the list. And you can see inbox down there at the bottom. So we can go ahead and select that. We're going to hit add to home and then just give it a few minutes to add the inbox bridge to my Matter network. And boom. Now we can say what room it's in. I'm gonna create a new room here for back room since it isn't in the list. We can change the name of the bridge if we want. I'm just going to leave it as inbox for now. Now we can add both devices that are associated with the bridge. So since it comes in with the generic name, we can hit the identify button to help us determine uh, which of these is the uh, shade that we're wanting to name. It will drag the shade to show us which one we are working with. So that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna select back room here. And the first one here that we're doing is the craft room window. So we'll go ahead and give it that name. Basically, we can do the same process for the second shade as well, which will be dog room window. And we now have both devices added into Apple HomeKit using Matter. Super easy to do. But let's take it one step further. So we have them in HomeKit, but let's get them added into Home Assistant as well. So we can share our inbox bridge from HomeKit and add it to Home Assistant. So if we go into the settings for one of the shades and then we're gonna click on bridge, there's an option down towards the bottom to turn on pairing mode. It will tell us that it's ready to connect and then we can copy that code. Once we have all that, we can jump over to Home Assistant and in the Matter Device section of Home Assistant, we can click on Add Device. We will say yes, that it's already in use. We're gonna go ahead and select Apple Home as where it's already being used. And then we can paste in the code that we copied earlier. And that's it. We now have both shades in Home Assistant. We will have to update the names to make sure that we have them named correctly. But other than that, we have our shades set up in the Shade Map app we have them added into Apple HomeKit, and we now add it into Home Assistant as well. All in just a matter of a few minutes. Super easy to set up. Let's go ahead and move on to the last step, and I'll give you my final thoughts.
Uh, let's start off by showing some live footage of the shades in action being controlled from home system. Now remember, these shades are the standard motor shades with a matter bridge that is connected to Apple HomeKit and then shared to Home Assistant. Response time seems great. The shades are working as if they are directly connected, so no issues there at all. I think everything is working great. Uh, these are heavy duty zebra shades, definitely not cheaply made. Uh, we got the remote to control them locally. Uh, and like I said, having two in the same room isn't even a problem. This remote can control them together or individually. In fact, it can control up to 15 different shades all from the same remote. So that's pretty awesome. You saw how easy these were to install and get set up. I um, mean, it didn't take long at all. Everything works great. Kinsmo has many different colors to choose from. And if you aren't interested in the zebra style shades, they have lots of other styles to choose from as well. I'll have a link to their website in the description below. If you aren't interested in this particular style, head over there, see what other options they have to offer. I guarantee you'll find something that you do like. As always, I want to thank everybody for donating to my Pioneer Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, head over to my spring merchandise page and check out all of the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And if you're looking for the latest smart home gear, you're going to want to check out Smonet. I'll have a link in the description below. Head over there and see what specials they currently have running. And if you're looking for SIM cards for all of your 4G smart gear, you're going to want to check out EIT Club. I'll have a link in the description below for them as well. Head over there and see what specials they have running on their SIM cards. And if you aren't already, you need to be securing your internet service. No better way to do that than Bravado VPN. I'll have a link in the description below. Head over to their website and see what specials they're running on their VPN services. And we can't forget about Eufy. Eufy has tons of smart home products from cameras to robot vacuums to all kinds of stuff. You're going to want to check them out and see what all they have to offer. So I'll have a link in the description below so you can do just that. If you're interested in buying and selling stock or maybe cryptocurrency, you're going to want to check out Robinhood. I'll have a link in the description below. If you sign up with that link, you and I both will get a free share of stock. It's a win-win for both of us. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well. I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.